Good afternoon. This is Nova Gaming. I'm Tim. It's a beautiful Saturday. I'm getting ready for the Ohio State game. And I decided, well, might as well crack the second box. If you watched my previous video, you'll see that I have two boxes to crack. And I already cracked one. Uh, as you can see by all the, the packaging everywhere. So let's go ahead and crack this one open and see what we get. I usually buy three boxes of the new Star Wars Destiny sets and then usually trade for whatever else I need. Uh, so this will probably be the last box I get from this set. Um, I may buy random packs here and there just for uh, just for the thrill of cracking them. You know, as most people know, cracking packs is very addicting. All right. All right. So I am back. I actually got a phone call, had to run out, so it's been actually a couple of hours for me. I left, I came back, I had to watch the Ohio State game, but I am back to get this, pat or get this box cracked for everybody. Alright, so here it is. I won't be dumping it out this time. We can just kind of look at it and see what's what. And we'll see uh, how the legendaries are put out. All right, so we got Hut Ties, Imperial HQ, Trust the Force, Reaping the Crystal, which is a very good card, and we have General Hux. So yeah, it's pretty good. A little elite General Hux of these two boxes. Okay, so we got Swift Strike. Pickpocket, Kill Them All, Hate, and an Energy Slingshot. Alright, I'm trying to go through this one a little bit quicker, just because I know the last one was uh, a little bit long. So I'm going to try to go through these, maybe spend a little more time on the rares, but s stick more to non uh, just talk about the rares and maybe not so much the commons and uncommons. Roll on. Ruthless tactic. Pin down. Entrenched. And, ooh, Grand Inquisitor. So I pulled one on the, about the first box I got, so now I've got an elite one. So he's going to be interesting. Um... I don't, know. I don't know. I mean, he's got an okay dice. Uh, his ability is pretty good. Or his uh, special is pretty good. But we'll see. Yes, yeah, so we got Against the Odds. Red Alert. At Peace. Faint. And ooh, Ghost. So it's two in a row legendaries. That is actually my second Ghost. I have not pulled one of those yet. Bestow, Mandalorian Armor, Secret Mission, It Will Be All Mine, and Wookiee Warrior. So, second one of those. Ooh, almost dropped it. So, try to keep these a little further over. Defiance, Oops. Voices Cry Out, Bounty Postings, Medical Center, and Electro Staff. Definitely going to need tons of these. If you play Melee, and anyone that has a resource cost in their uh, character die is definitely going to love that. So Mace Windu, uh, General Grievous, anything like that. Disable, Deploy Squadron, Fruity Strike, Trickery, and Weapons Cache. Another one that may or may not be good. We'll see how the meta shakes out. Crossfire, Appraise, Rend, Imperial Backing, and another Bosk. It is definitely running Elite Bosk now. Uh, 
Indomitable, Prepare for War, Pin Down, Take, no pr take Prisoner, Pin Down, and BO1 Cutter, uh, the Virex. So, talk about it in my first video on that one. So, we'll see how well that one works with the impending FN uh, nerf, which I have been told while I've been told on my little break that most likely it will be happening this week. So, you can look for it. This week, I believe, on the Chance Cube podcast, they might announce it, or FFG might announce it, depending on how it goes. Most likely, FFG will announce it uh, after or uh, during the top, the uh, Chance Cube podcast. But we'll have to wait. No Survivors, Force Vision, Covering Fire, Fearless, and A20 or A280 Blaster Rifle. So definitely going to get use out of that one. I do like the ranged type hero decks. So, Tech Team, Stolen Cash, Thermal Paint, Detention Center, and Cable Launcher. No Surrender, Plastoid Armor, Tenacity, Fall Back, and T-47 Airspeeder. So, definitely like that card a lot. But we'll see how it goes. I know it'll probably, it most likely will be used a lot. Uh, probably more than most of the other vehicles just because of the crop cost. So, anytime you can get a two or less cost vehicle, it's good. No Surrender, Battle Rage. Funeral Pyre, Battle of Wills, and Psychometry. Psychometry. That's just a, that's a fun one actually to say. And it will see zero play. Rear Guard, Lightsaber Training, Bad Feeling, Port District, and Manga Guard. So we'll see how well he runs out as well, how he he runs. Um, I think some I've seen a few different builds with him. We'll see where he lands and how well he'll play. Rear guard, Imperial HQ, Strike Briefing, Deadly, another good card, and Generaken. Now he's an interesting ability. After you activate this character, you may discard a card from the top of an opponent's deck for each of your other characters with one or more shields. So, put in with a bunch of different characters, you can start milling, uh, even, even if you're just running one character as long as that shield, mills one. So, anytime you can mill a card off a deck, it's just one less card you have to deal with. Because most decks now, uh, in current meta, need almost every card. Uh, maybe not right now, but they need and have use for every single card. So if you can mill one, that's one less card you have to deal with. No Survivors, Force Vision, As You Command, Unyielding, and Probe Droid. So, again, basically the Probe Droid event on a stick. So, I know the one legendary I don't want is the Chopper. It's basically an Electro Staff on a stick, but I still don't think he's worth that much. The day is ours. Ruthless Tactic. Bounty Postings, uh, and Girl Spaceport, and Coordination. Another one that may or may not see any play. Uh, it's on the more expensive side for the heroes. Uh, I know they they need all the help they can get as the, the villains are just stupid strong right now. Against the Odds, Pickpocket, Lightsaber Pull, Keen Instincts, and Chopper, the one I actually did not want. So, I believe the second Chopper I've pulled. I do not want to pull again, but of course this is the last box I will be opening from this set. I almost threw that on the ground. So, we'll see what else. So, that's three Legendaries currently. Uh, so, we got three more. May get lucky and get one more, or four more, but we'll have to see. Crossfire. Rend, 
uh, Bo Bohomen Mas Monastery. God, these names are terrible. Uh, Weapons Factory Alpha and Rookie Pilots. Yes, look at that face. Ugh, it's a face only a mother will love. I don't know. Still wondering who approved that picture, that face. That's an okay art until you get to the face. I mean, look at the die. That's what you have to look at every time you roll them. And whenever he rolls like this, you're like, oh my goodness. Ugh. Good times though, good times. Disable, recycle, lightsaber pull, anarchy, and Y-Wing. Definitely going to be a good one. Special is just awesome. Force an opponent to deal damage to the characters distribute as they wish or lose resources until they have dealt or lost a combined total of four. So if they have zero resources, they have to deal four damage. So it is a hit or miss, but if you're rolling hot and that thing comes out and starts rolling it special, ugh. Okay, so local patrol, plastoid armor, partnership, twin shadows, and Darth Vader's tie fight, or tie advanced. So that's the second one. We'll see how well that gets played. Yeah, it's, it's pretty good, but we'll see. Okay, local patrol, deploy squadron, kill them all. Drop Zone, and Natural Pilot. Other that, interesting one, but it, I think it's just too expensive. Roll on. Voices Cry Out. Secret Mission. Imperial Academy. And... LR1K Sonic Cannon. Now this is an instrument, very expensive, but if you look at it, so much damage. And then it's got the ability, before resolving this die, you may exhaust one of your characters. If you do, you do not have to pay the resource cost for this die. So if you roll a six and you have any freaking character that has not been activated, you just tap them as you're resolving it, exhaust them, and you can throw six at them. So I know my Akbar uh, Lando deck runs this, and uh, I mean, if you have it in your hand, uh, turn one, you can drop it turn one. So I know I played that. I dropped it turn one, and I was rolling sixes on turn one. I dropped uh, what is it? That the uh, Sonic Cannon, the Chance Cube, and with their focuses and rerolls, I was able to pull so much. Uh, resources that that was my only damage output and he just could not deal with it every single turn so I got cornered prey truce main plaza double cross and Jedi instructor another one that's an interesting ability he's a decent uh, secondary character but again it's a little a little squishy but we will definitely see how well it Turns out the meta and everything. Defiance, Shield Generator. Oops. And you can already see what I have. Bomar Man Monastery, Threaten, and Servant of Dark Side. Another interesting one, great secondary character. Has a pretty decent ability if you have a character that has to die first. It may get left alone for a while. We got Persuade, Plastoid Armor, At Peace, Drop Your Weapon, and Lando Calrissian. So he's one, he's, you start the game with one additional resource, so three, and then of course he's got the one and then the three resource for one. So he's got only, you know, one die that's a weapon, but other than that he's got great dice purely for resource gen. So you attach him to another resource gen or ch stack a, a, a chance cube on him and with some luck you can roll basically a three every time on the chance cube. So him and Akbar, it's basically three to four resources every turn. 
And with that, you spend it on big vehicles that the people have to deal with. Bestow, lightsaber training, covering fire, hidden agenda, and temptation. So, another temptation. You may or may not see any play just because it is a reliable for form of whichever one you want. So, if you need both, then, you know, yeah, you can definitely run it. It is cheap, so you can definitely use it as your uh, ramp up. So thermal paint, uh, another thermal paint, uh, Rally HQ, and Canon Jars. So he'll be an interesting one. Before you take an action, you may resolve one of this die. So it just feels like it was, it was missing a word there that was not caught on uh, proofread. It just feels like you may uh, resolve one of this character's die. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I think it's fine as is. But most likely, uh, FFG will post something in an FAQ about it. Local patrol, battle rage, partnership, running interference, and another EMP grenade. So I think I think those will the EMP grenades will see play. So it's definitely good to get two of them. So I got one in my previous box video, and one now. So I think you need two of those. And as a collector, that always gets two of everything. That's something that I'll have to trade for, but now I don't, because I pulled two. Dangerous Mission, Appraise, Fruitius a Strike, Flanking Maneuver, and Grand Admiral's Lightsaber. So that's cool. So I think that's my third one, uh, but we'll see. So there's one more uh, Legendary in here somewhere. Hopefully it's a, def it's a good one. But we will see. Defiance, Stolen Cash, Tenacity, All Quiet on the Front, and Hera with the amazing art. And by amazing, not that amazing, more freaky looking. Overall, I mean, I like the box. Overall, I like the game. The set's really good. We'll see with the, how everything shakes out, how well it goes. Indomitable. Prepare for war, trust the force, buy out, and match the council. This is actually my fourth one, I believe. I traded for two just because I wanted to run it and I didn't know if I was ever going to open one. And then I went to a draft where I actually pulled two out of my box, out of my packs. So I ended up in two different uh, turns. So I was able to grab both of them and I was running a red hero any or a blue hero anyway. So I was like, well, let me stick them away deck. I never once used them. They're mostly tr uh, freaking discard fodder because uh, I never could get enough resources. Disable. Red alert. As you command. Quick escape. And scatter blaster. Another one that may may not see play. We'll see. It is a little expensive from what I see for uh, okay size but not reliable enough. There will be a die. Hopefully that was nothing good. Hut Ties, Shield Generator, Funeral Pyre, Reckless Reentry, and a Chance Cube. So I definitely need two of these because they will be in my uh, one of my decks because it's, it's an okay card. It's very unreliable, but it's very fun when it starts rolling really good or you have enough to make sure that it's reliably on three every turn. Heat of Battle, Recycle, Strike Briefing, Commander, and Training Remote. So, another one of those interesting ones. May see play, may not see play. I've seen more probably not see play. Any more? No, that would be the, this is the last pack. Let's see what we get. Tech Team, Mandalorian Armor, Bad Feeling, Yoda's Quarters, and Tough Haggler. So that's an interesting run. Look at an opponent's hand and choose two cards in it. Then discard those cards unless the opponent spends two resources. So if they have no resources, use that ability. He basically discards two cards. Uh, two cards of your choice. So definitely, this definitely Macy play. It is on the expensive side, three. 
but it helps create its own resources. So when you spend the resources for this, it can give them back. It also, you know, disrupts, but I think it's special is definitely where it's at. But we'll see. So put this over here. Oh, goodness. But yeah, I mean, this is an okay box. Definitely got some stuff I needed. Uh, Mass Council, some trade bait for whenever I need it. Uh, Grand Inquisitor's lightsaber, more trade baits. That's my, my third one. Uh, Sonic Can, I think this is my first or second uh, from Kraken Packs. Um, so it's something I will be using in certain decks. We will see. Uh, chopper, uh, not interested in my second Chopper. Um, there might be a deck that comes out for him. Uh, I've seen him run in a few different decks, but I don't think it's good enough. So it's probably just going to be sitting in my binder like some of the other rares and legendaries do. Ghost, which definitely has a, a place in hero vehicles. Uh, we'll see if uh, Poe ever gets uh, nerfed or it's just going to be something that goes in his deck that gets tossed at somebody. Uh, I don't think it's not a great card for Poe to chat toss, but we'll see. Uh, similar to the, uh, the Sonic Cannon. Uh, is, it may go into a Poe deck to be tossed. Because, I mean, Poe rolls out, he has special, doesn't get removed. He can then immediately, either Maz can roll in. If you have two resources, like you toss five into his face. Or if somehow you have three resources. I don't, sometimes I've seen them stag resources. Uh, you toss six at their face, which is, you know, crazy. Uh, let's see where... So, lightsaber like chopper, yeah. So, overall, I mean, it was an okay box. Uh, obviously didn't get any of the chase cards like the ancient lightsaber, but overall did uh, okay. So, this is what I got previous box. Uh, Sabine, definitely good. And then the ancient lightsaber, which is the main one. And then, oh, look, I did a crack one right here, too, as well. And then another ghost, which is good. But yeah, we'll definitely see. So, I mean, thank you for joining me. As you can see, we have tons and tons of packs. So, I gotta clean all that up, put the boxes away, and figure out something to do with them. Might actually turn them into a... Actually, this one is actually works well. This one may get turned into a, a little dice tower. Carve a little chunk on the, the top, put a few little rolls down. You can just drop them in, they'll roll down onto the bottom. And you'll see what you got. So, we'll see. I mean, I am keeping it. As well as the uh, Spirit of Rebellion. I mean, I don't have... I didn't keep any of my uh, Awakenings ones. Just because... I don't know. I was just not keeping them at that time. But, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope it was enjoyable. Hopefully I can put together some decks. Run through some decks. And maybe tabletop. And uh, hopefully we can keep this channel going. So thank you and have a good rest of the day.